Now, great story for you. Christmas Day, uh, the South End branch of Spice Village opened their doors to the homeless and vulnerable to just go in and have a free Christmas meal. Absolutely free for nothing. Now, on Christmas Eve, they had 110 people who'd been signed up for this, okay? They then spent a fair amount of time raising awareness, raising more awareness of what was on offer at the Spice Village on Christmas Day. Well, the chief exec, the boss of Spice Village company, Suleiman Raza, even featured on BBC Essex on Christmas Day to offer his support and spread the word about what was available. How did it go, I hear you ask? How did it go on Christmas Day at Spice Village? Well, I spoke to Suleiman earlier and asked him that question. It was amazing. It was uh, phenomenal. Uh, we were overwhelmed with the response. Yes, it was an amazing day. Now, when we at BBC Essex spoke to you just before Christmas, you were expecting 110 people. How many did you get in the end? Oh, we were overwhelmed with the response. Uh, we had over, in fact, over 200 homeless and elderly people turn up on the day. Oh, over and 200? We had to cook more, yes. yes <laughs> and we had to cook... Uh, more and more to fed these people throughout the day, yes. And just let's go back a little bit. What was the thinking behind this? Why did you do this? Obviously, Christmas is like a special day. So we decided to spend our special day with these homeless and elderly people across uh, South End. As you know, the homelessness is on the rise throughout the country, especially in South End. In fact, I was told by a local charity that it's uh, almost uh, risen by 28% compared to the last year. So we thought we must do something for the community. And feeding the homeless people was probably the best thing we ever did. How much preparation did it take to feed 200 people? I mean, how many sittings did you have to have? So our restaurant had 52 seats. We were preparing ourselves for over 100 people. We had a few charities who also brought few people to have the food at the restaurant. So initially we were targeting over 100 people and we had to stock up the food, obviously, because it was a Christmas day. So we, we, we had sort of feeling that we might end up with some extra people. So the good thing is we, we had some stocks to cater for double the amount. So we were preparing for it at least a couple of days before we started preparing ourselves for it. Now, all the staff obviously worked voluntarily on this Christmas Day, missing out on their families, children, you know, because obviously Christmas Day we're not open for business. But this time I, I'm so glad and proud of our team, you know, to come out and support this uh, amazing cause. And, and what was the menu? Mainly we did uh, roast turkey uh, as a starter. We did some rice and chicken casserole. Then we had uh, dessert as a cream caramel pudding. And we served some hot drinks, soft drinks. And some of the odd ones wanted to have some rice with um, butter chicken and chicken tikka masala and stuff. So, yeah, that kind of menu, yes. So it was a full range of stuff, wasn't it? And, oh, we had quite a few and, and what, was, what was the reaction like from the people who were your guests that day? What did they say to you? We had quite a few elderly people as well as homeless people, uh, who had literally had no one around in the family and uh, had nowhere to go. And once we fed them, they were so happy. Some of them literally had tears in their eyes, you know, thanking our team at Spice Village. There were some heart-touching scenes, and which were priceless. I mean, they're very difficult to describe. I mean, how we felt and how all these homeless people felt, because some of them had no one to talk to. And I think the fact which made them so happy was they were like some voluntary people we had in our restaurant who were there talking to these people. Some of our staff members were keeping them engaged. So they had no one to talk to. And some of them even stayed like two, two hours in the restaurant, sitting down, talking to us, having the food. So it's like an like, uh, unbelievably amazing stuff, which, which is difficult to describe. You know? And for you and your team, how did you feel when the last guest left you? Oh... Uh, Yes, I think I think our team, everyone felt so, so good. Feeding the homeless and elderly people was the best thing we did. I think we're so thankful to the local community 
charities, social media who spread the word around uh, to have all these people from South End who have nowhere to go mm. was, was probably the best thing. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, it's, like I said already, it's something which we cannot bring into our words. I mean, the other thing I'd like to, you know, thank my staff for supporting this, you know, throughout the day and uh, not to worry about extra people turning up. So this is like amazing stuff. Sullivan, what, what, if you don't mind my asking, what is your faith? I'm a Muslim, and the um, majority of our team uh, in the restaurant is also Muslim. And this is a Christian festival? Yes, 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 yes. I think uh, you would agree that all faiths, including Islam, Christianity, they preach love and peace, and feeding the homeless is pretty much very similar in all religion. And I think uh, we live in this country now and we, we want to support these homeless people and charities who work for these homeless people across South End. And, and another thing I'd like to mention is that we want, to, we want to do something for eliminating this rough sleeping on the road as well. Because in South End especially, every time I'm driving around, I see, you know, every now and then these odd people, you know, lying down on the floor sometime in bunches sometime. You know, they're like isolated people. So it's like, I, I don't think it's, it's to do anything with the religion. It's, it's, it's to do with the humanity. And as a person myself and, and representing my restaurant, you know, I represent humanity. I represent love, peace, you know. This is something we feel good to do, you know. It's just something, when you're giving something back to the community, you feel so good about it. Is this something that you might consider doing again next year? Oh, yes, definitely. By looking at the response, we're looking to make this uh, No One Eat Alone on the Christmas Day, like an annual campaign. So we're definitely going to do it again. But also, I'm, I'm also thinking of to start a local and a national campaign now to engage some of the other restaurants across South End as well as the country to participate in this campaign so that every year on the Christmas Day, no one eats alone. And I can assure you that if every single restaurant starts participating in this, there will be no single homeless person without food on the Christmas Day in South End. But not, not just in South End, but all over the UK. And by doing this, I think we can also contribute towards uh, rough sleeping, which is also on the rise in, in the UK. So, yes, definitely we're going to make this an annual campaign as well as a national campaign. Suleiman Raza uh, speaking to me earlier on from Spice Village uh, in South End, and well done to them for all the work they did over the Christmas period and all the staff there as well. Fantastic.